I hope I hope that there are moves made. I just I hope that they have to kind of make some moves here. And 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 you know, I look at Eduardo Nunez right now. Unless they are sold, they being Terry and 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 and, and Paul and Rob Anthony and, and the baseball operations staff. Unless they are completely sold right now, they come 2017. Eduardo Nunez will be the opening day shortstop. Then I think you move him. He, his value is never going to be higher. Um, I, I think that he is, as great of a season as he's had, he's had a great year. He was deserving to be an All Star. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just think that they have to be open minded, and I'm sure they will be to to move all players who have value right now, to an extent. Uh, if you're talking about Buxton and Sano and Barrios and you know those guys, I, I, I'd be hesitant to move them unless they're completely blown away. But uh, you know, I, I think a lot of people should be in play right now because they're, they just need to get some of these faces out. And I don't think it's going to be a payroll dump, Rich. I think that's a that's a big difference between what I'm what I'm thinking and what may happen. I'm not saying they need to dump salary and just get nothing back in return. But I do hope that they make some moves to get some some of these guys out and, and bring in some new prospects. If not right now, you want to load your system for five years, great. But that will just clear some space for a guy like Polanco to come up and play every day to see where he's at. Because come next spring training, Polanco, if he's, out, if he's optioned down, he's out of options. Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, I think he's out of options next year. I think Polanco and Kenny Vargas next year are out of options. So what what do we have with these guys? I mean, let's just not go into spring training saying, boy, they have to make the team. Otherwise, we'll see what happens. But let's let's see them up here. Polanco has never been given a chance to be an everyday player at this level. You know, if moves happen to, to warrant that, I can live with that, and I think others could as well. Of the everyday players, then, I would suspect, uh, but other than Nunez, Brian Dozier would most likely be. Trevor Plouffe would have been had he not been hurt. Yeah, I think even a guy like Kurt Suzuki is having a nice offensive season, and Suzuki's a free agent uh, after this season is over. So the mm-hmm. Twins have some decisions to make about what their catching uh, situation is going to be like come 2017. But, yeah, I, I think that you're open on everybody right now, and, you know, Dozier would be tough to move because of his because he's, he's likable, he's an all-star player, and he got hot there in June. We saw him really kind of pick it up there in June, had a nice finish to his series in Texas, as did many in that lineup. But uh, I, I, you know, personally, I hope that that doesn't happen. But it's not my call. I'm, I'm glad I'm not in that chair to make those tough decisions. Urban Santana pitching on the for the Twins in the opener, and then uh, we'll we'll go from there. And I guess Santana's uh, one of the arms that could be up for grabs. Yeah. When the trade deadline hits. Yep. I wouldn't be shocked. I, I, you know, he's got some money on his contract, and he's only not even halfway through it yet. So there is there is that element to it. Uh, a guy like Nolasco has one more year left in his deal. Irvin's got two. So there is there is that factor about the, the amount of money that have to be exchanged.